let's look at a typical 110 volt DC system. Firstly, we have the main AC supply from the substation system. This is normally derived from the main network via the substation service transformers. We then convert the AC supply to a DC output using an AC to DC converter. The DC supply is then fed to the DC distribution system, which distributes the DC power to all of the equipment within the substation. In case the AC system fails, we have a backup substation battery. Under normal conditions, the battery will be charged by the AC to DC converter. The AC to DC converter therefore needs to be rated for the full DC system load and the charging current necessary for the battery. The battery itself also has to be rated for the full DC system load whilst the AC system is disconnected. For most HV substations, the battery is designed to supply the full substation DC load for up to 12 hours after the failure of the AC supply. We like redundancy, so we supply two separate battery and charger systems. These feed their own bus bar and loads. The normal configuration is for each converter battery system to feed its own bus bar. In the event of one charger battery system failing, the other system is fully rated to feed the full substation DC load via the link between the bus bars.